Happy fall, everyone. It's so moody and spooky. We got beautiful rose hips here. Ow, they're pokey. That's all part of the fun. Hey, beautiful things can be pokey. So I'm just, I'm loving these colors. I like to call these the Rasta trees because they turn like this gorgeous green, yellow, orange, red. Mmm, yummy. Love them right over my head. Just feel cloaked in beauty right now. So it's starting to rain right this second. Of course, I've been prepping this poem and it's been perfectly calm, but now it's starting to gently rain. Uh, so I will get on with the refrain here. Um, so I just wrote this and I'll explain the title. It's called Time for Flannel Cakes. And I was just thinking about uh, my favorite kind of pancake. My dad and I invented this recipe and it's either blue or yellow cornmeal. So you do cornmeal and you make a cornmeal cake with buttermilk and then you do pecans, 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 who knows? Uh, bygones be bygones, pecans. Uh, you do crumbled turkey bacon atop the pancake. No, it sounds weird, but it's so good. A little brown sugar in the batter, and then you mix up molasses and fresh heavy whipping cream, and you make molasses whipped cream. And we invented those when I was a kid, and they're called flannel cakes. So this is the time for flannel cakes, because we just thought it was like the kind of pancake that a lumberjack would be like, oh yeah, I endorse this pancake. So I wrote this just about everything that's around me and these colors and my favorite thing about Colorado is that we have these four distinct beautiful seasons so now we are in my favorite part right on the cusp of the end of summer into the autumn um, so here we go smoke them if you got them if you got them smoke them let's do it let's do this poem so it's called time for flannel cakes so very crisp just on the precipice of brisk, that lovely kiss of autumnal bliss, the hiss of the tea kettle, feeling warm and settled, surrounded by the paint palette hues within my view to revel in. Pumpkins begin to grin, and us sensitive types swim in our thoughts. It's that perfect sweet spot where flower petals still hold on, and the Spring and summer fattened birds still sing their melodious songs. But it won't be long before the earth puts on her heavy winter cloak and the frigid nighttime fires are stoked. My father will take a toke from his best hand-carved pipe and will begin to see the beauty of lovingly hung twinkle lights. I'll fight against the cold weather tendency to roll my shoulder blades forward. But the right flannel and a warm cider that smells of an orchard are just what the doctor ordered for my winter posture. My fashion choices become thicker and softer. True friends show up with treasured gifts and delightful nibbles and sips to offer. Now is the time for one of my favorite authors, Edgar Allan Poe. We trade our rushing, bustling pace for a season that moves more slow. The painted trees create a soulful glow. We prepare for freezing air and snow. And now as the canary yellow leaves blow and all of nature trembles with the thought of what awaits her and contemplates greater shifts and lifts her vibrations just so, my own reflections grow and overlap. I crave more naps and perhaps the heavy-hearted bits will sit with me long enough to get the flame of wisdom lit and I can learn from the torpid, dormant, dormant, energetic pull. To motivate next spring's revival, to generate an acceptance of the inevitable cycles. The dried sunflowers dance a well-rehearsed recital. The decorated porches become frightful. My paw packs a pipe full. We bundle up and tuck in tighter for this delightful season of costume enthusiasts and jack-o'-lantern lighters. Yay! So that's what I was inspired to today. And I mean, gosh, I just, everywhere I drive around town, I'm like, I want to do a poem there. I want to drive, I want to do a poem there. Look at that backdrop. 
Look at that hot spot. Oh my gosh, it's just all so alive with color and wonder and I love it. And I just got this flannel and makes my feet good. It's like this toasty, warm, amber glow is all around, you know? So um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do another poem. Ooh, the geese. You can hear them. They're a migrating. Okay, uh, I won't keep you waiting. More poetry tomorrow.